Dear students, today I am going to discuss about crystal field splitting in square planar geometry. In square planar complexes, the crystal field splitting of d orbitals is like this. When the metal is in free state, all the 5 d orbitals are in degenerate state. And when the metal is put in the ligand solution, it will get the excited state. As I said in my previous video, so all this is the state of excited state of 5 d orbitals and it is purely hypothetical state, right? And we will get the square planar geometry by removing the two trans ligands along the z axis from a regular octahedral geometry. That's why the splitting of d orbitals into different energy levels is the origin from octahedral geometry. Therefore, the splitting of 5 d orbitals will take place according to the octahedral geometry. Therefore, the higher energy level will take place by each set of orbitals and the lower energy level will take place by T2G set of orbitals. From this, we know each set of orbitals, there are two orbitals, dx square, y square and dz square. From t to g set of orbitals, there are three orbitals, dxy, dyz, dzx orbital, right? So, from this dx square, y square, dz square orbitals, dx square, y square orbital will get the higher energy level because these four ligands are approaching the metal ion along the xy axis. Therefore, there would be close interaction between dx square y square orbital and the ligand orbital. Right? Therefore, it would get more repulsion. That's why it is getting high energy. And from the T to G set of orbital, that's dxy orbital will get the next high energy level and the next energy level will get by d z square orbital and then the lowest energy level will take place by d x z and d y z orbitals. If we are going to know the crystal field splitting of d orbitals in trigonal planar complexes. So, when the metal is in free state, all the 5 degenerate d orbitals are in degenerate state like this. Right? So, from this degenerate state, the splitting of d orbitals into different energy levels will take place. Right? So, if you see the geometry of the trigonal planar complex, all the 3 ligands are approaching along the x and y and z axis right so two ligands are approaching along the x y axis x y axis therefore the ligands which are having the lobes in x y plane those are dx square y square and dx y will get the higher energy level and then dy z dz x will get the next energy level and the dz square orbital will get the lower energy level. 